Greece's Airborne Special Operations Squadron, the MAEE, is gearing up to receive four units of the MH-60L Black Hawk DAP helicopters. The DAP, or the Direct Action Penetrator, is a variant of the MH-60L specially designed for direct attack missions. The aircraft is capable of providing close air support and can be armed with two M134 miniguns, two M230 chain guns, M261 rocket pods, Hellfire missiles, as well as air-to-air -air Stinger missiles. It comes equipped with advanced targeting systems, night vision capabilities, and infrared sensors that allow it to operate at day and night and in all weather conditions. The MH-60 has a maximum ferry range of over 2,000 kilometers and a combat radius of 600 kilometers. It has a service ceiling of 19,000 feet and boasts of a top speed of 294 kilometers per hour. The MH-60L features advanced avionics and enhanced survivability features that allow it to operate effectively even in hostile environments. The acquisition of the MH-60L is being looked at as a power multiplier that would skyrocket the operational capabilities of the MAEE upon its induction. The German Ministry of Defense has confirmed the delivery of two more Iris-T air defense systems to Ukraine. The latest shipment features one Iris-T SLS unit and one Iris-T SLM unit, both of which are crucial for bolstering Ukraine's defense capabilities. The Iris-T SLS is the short-ranged variant of the Iris-T system and is capable of neutralizing threats at ranges of up to 10 kilometers. The SLM variant, on the other hand, boasts of a longer engagement range and can engage targets at distances of up to 40 kilometers. Deploying both these systems together can counter a wide array of aerial threats, including aircrafts, helicopters, drones, cruise missiles, and even ballistic missiles. Germany had earlier provided Ukraine with three Iris-T SLM systems and one Iris-T SLS system. The recent delivery of Iris-T systems is aimed at bolstering Ukraine's air defense capabilities, and it also underlines Germany's unwavering support to Ukraine. The Indian Ministry of Defense is gearing up to acquire nearly 5,000 units of the indigenous Vajra air defense system. The Vajra, also known as the V-Sharads, or the Very Short Range Air Defense System, has been developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization as an indigenous replacement to the Russian IGLA Air Defense System. It has been designed to neutralize a wide range of aerial threats, including aircrafts, helicopters, UAVs, and cruise missiles. The Vajra is powered by a dual-thrust, solid-fueled rocket motor and boasts of a maximum engagement range of 7 kilometers. The system is currently undergoing trials, and its performance has reportedly been quite impressive. Adani Defense, the development come production partner for this program, is expected to receive multiple orders in batches of 5,000 units, all of which will play a vital role in the Indian Army's modernization and indigenization plans. Bangladesh, a longtime customer of Chinese military hardware, has lodged multiple complaints with Beijing regarding the supply of defective components and technical issues with Chinese weapon platforms. Bangladesh has alleged that most of the weapons sold by China are obsolete and are based on outdated technology copied from the West. The Bangladesh Navy has found its Chinese corvettes and petrol crafts to be riddled with multiple manufacturing defects and technical problems. In a separate incident, its Air Force encountered numerous problems with its F-7 fighter jets, air defense systems, and K-8W aircrafts, with the Chinese radars having failed to meet the required accuracy standards. The Bangladesh Army, too, is facing difficulties maintaining its fleet of MBT-2000 tanks and multi-rocket launch systems due to China's inability to maintain a smooth supply of spares and maintenance equipment. Frustrated, Bangladesh is now planning to replace its Chinese multi-rocket launch systems with more reliable Turkish alternatives.